Worldwide, there are more than 17 million deaths due to cardiovascular disease every year. It's a problem that's exacerbated by sedentary lifestyle and poor diet, with cholesterol being a particularly dangerous element. Diets high in fat and alcohol and low in fresh fruit and vegetables are raising the risk of poor cardiovascular health. With this in mind, we're looking at the latest advances in cardiology and how they can help you. American Heart of Poland is a group of interventional cardiology, angiology and cardiosurgery departments in Poland. The clinics were established in 2000 by a group of pioneering surgeons from the United States of America and Poland. We join a clinic in Bielsko Biala, southern Poland, to find out more about the procedures and the condition itself. I'm Paweł Buszpan, I'm professor of cardiology. We are now in outpatient clinic in Katowice and this outpatient clinic belong to American Heart of Poland. Uh, we are uh, providing the services uh, for patients with cardiovascular diseases. We start from diagnosis, then we decide how we should treat them, and then we f after the, the treatment we follow the patients uh, uh, during whole their life. In general, the, there is a great demand for, for this kind of services in Poland because uh, from uh, epidemic, uh, epidemiologic data, we know that uh, we have a terrible problem with cardiovascular diseases in Poland. Uh, um, the um, incident rates of myocardial infarct and stroke in this country is one of the highest in the European Union. But uh, thanks to the introduction of the new uh, methods of the diagnosis of, and treatment of cardiovascular disease, we manage to decrease the rate of death because of cardiovascular disease by one third during the last 10 years. We established the company in 2000 uh, and the aim uh, of the company and uh, the activity, our activity, was to establish modern network of cardiovascular services in uh, underserved region of Poland. Plus, we, uh, we believed that having uh, such a, a system of, of departments and hospitals will be able to introduce a modern uh, and innovative technology even faster than in the university hospitals. I was traveling around the world and I was trained both in Europe, in UK and US and I met a lot of people and I met ex uh, my friends, interventional cardiologists and cardiologists, cardiac surgeons in US. So we decided to, to build uh, such a new system uh, in Poland based on uh, uh, American experience, uh, but also based on the newest technology, which uh, at that time sometimes was even not uh, 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 possible to have even in the US. In this country, but also in Europe using the newest technologies, uh, we also were successful in introduction not not only American technology, but we also introduced to the market uh, Polish technology based on, on, on uh, uh, our knowledge uh, coming from, from outside the country. So it's a, a kind of satisfaction for us that in some way we are ahead from, from our US colleagues. I am cardiologist and head of cardiology department in Bielsko Biela. We are specializing in coronary artery disease, including acute myocardial infarction treatment. Last year, we treated almost 2,000 patients and we did 1,300 coronary angioplasty. We are working closely with cardiac surgeons and all complex clinical cases are always consulted by a heart team to offer the best treatment modality. I run a department which consists of 14 surgical wards, two operation theatres and two ICU rooms. We performed two mid-cab procedures. The first one was the coronary artery bypass, namely a LAD bypass using a minimally invasive or endoscopic method, in which internal thoracic artery, ITA, is used by the endoscopic vision 
video fluoroscopy method. The other procedure was a minimally invasive mitral valve repair. Both procedures are performed by a so-called mini thoracotomy, using small cuts allowing for avoiding a classic stenotomy. The centre has technologically advanced equipment. One operating theatre is a state-of-the-art hybrid room which allows for performing procedures by hybrid teams consisting of, for example, cardiac and vascular surgeons. This approach allows us to perform numerous procedure types untried so far. We have excellent equipment, which allows us to perform procedures by endoscopic vision, video fluoroscopy method. We have two video channels and the harmonic scalpel, which allows us to perform such procedures. So uh, the centers was, uh, was accepted like a, like a hybrid uh, center for cardiac, for cardiologists and for cardiac surgery. Uh, together work and one of our op operating theatres is a hybrid uh, theatre which allows us to, to, to do a combined procedures. That is actually uh, in terms of uh, in, in coronary artery surgery like uh, as well as, as, as structural uh, problems of the heart like valves, like aneurysms. This morning we, we have done a minimally invasive uh, cardiac surgery that was a mitral valve, which is one of the four valves of, of, of the heart. In that case, the, the lady had incompetent, in, insufficient uh, mitral valve, which, uh, which was a great problem. And uh, we fixed it uh, with the annuloplasty. Maybe that's too complicated, but it is a kind of, of um, uh, reversing the valve to the, to the good function. And we've done it with a, in a minimal invasive way, uh, which means that uh, you don't need a huge cut in the front of the body, but you, you, you use a, a intercostal space on the side with only five centimeter um, approach. Yeah. Many of, of us are concentrated on the, on the cosmetic point of view and, and the good look of the scar and, small, and the size of the scar, but it's not, not that important in my eyes. The main thing is that the, the patient who is operated with this approach uh, will recover much earlier, will have less pain and there will be, last but not least, more more satisfied with this with this approach, he will stay or this patient will stay shorter in, in hospital and uh, will be much earlier back in the normal life, his life back back in work. So uh, it it's really worth to to do it like this. That is the, the other thing. Uh, if you got a bigger bigger incision, of course, bigger approach. You have a bigger surface and, and approach also for the bacteria and, and viruses, everything, what uh, can contaminate the, 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 um, the incision the approach. So absolutely, that is also a point, yeah. What about diet? This is actually a question which is, uh, which is very, very popular. In our opinion, this, this, uh, this diet with which comes from, from the south, so-called Mediterranean uh, diet is of course in, in our opinion the best one. But just a normal diet with, with less uh, animal fats, saturated fats, of course will, will help us as well. I am 34 years old. I am a licensed security service employee. Why am I here? It's a rather strange story as I did not expect to end up here. One Sunday, I did not feel well. It was last Sunday. I had a tremendous chest pain. I thought it was normal and that it would pass. But one hour later, I felt awful, really bad. I asked a female fellow employee to take me to the emergency room. While there, they confirmed a suspicion of a heart trauma. So I ended up here. From what I remember, everything was happening very fast. As far as I know, 
The procedure consisted of deploying a device into my ventricle to open a vessel which was blocked. I never felt I had a heart problem except a slight pain in my hand and arm, but nothing else. I feel very good. I really never believed that I had a heart attack or something like that. What about care? The care is very good. Really great, let me say. What comes next? As I have said, tomorrow I will have interviews about further rehabilitation to maintain my heart in good condition and not allow for another episode to happen. I think we will collaborate, the department and I, since they suggested I participate in follow-up exercises, something like that. I will think it over and I believe everything will be fine. The symptoms of heart attacks can actually differ between men and women. Men tend to experience intense chest pain, pain in the left arm or jaw and difficulty breathing. Women may experience the same symptoms but the pain will be more diffuse, spreading across the shoulders and down the arms and back. It's important to learn what to look for and to be aware of in friends and family. Join us after the break for more from American Heart of Poland. Are you suffering heart problems and looking for secure, cutting-edge cardiovascular diagnostics and care? Then there's only one choice, American Heart of Poland Clinics. Our network of interventional cardiology, angiology and cardiosurgery departments is renowned for its outstanding team of doctors and high quality of service. We offer a comprehensive treatment of cardiovascular diseases, starting from medical consultation through diagnosis and treatment to rehabilitation in the beautiful Beskidi Mountains. One doctor gives you national prefixed prices with no call out or overtime charges 24 hours 365 days a year drain doctor emergency plumbing and drainage as quick as a wink the doctor will see you now revive offers a mobile solution to minor damage on cars whether it be a bumper scuff or a damaged alloy Revive carry out a professional service nationally for private individuals, fleet companies or car dealerships. Revive technicians are fully accredited and the mobile service comes to you at a time and a place to suit. Revive your car today. Choosing a plumber should never be a gamble. Call Drain Doctor. And it won't be. Breathtaking alpine scenery, lakes and mountains. Switzerland is a truly authentic experience. Switzerland Travel Center specializes in holiday itineraries designed for you. Combine scenic rail journeys on board the iconic Glacier Express with mountain excursions, hiking trails or cycling tours. Visit our website or give us a call. Our consultants are proud to share their expertise with you to help create the perfect holiday. Switzerland Travel Center. Nobody knows Switzerland like we do. There's a national plumber that charges you the same rate with no call-out cost, day or night. Drain Doctor. The Society of Genealogists can help you with your research. The largest family history library and archive in the UK contains some remarkable collections. Why not become a member to gain remote access to the Society's growing online database of records? The Society also runs an extensive education programme of family history courses and publications which may be relevant to your ancestry. Contact us now! The doctor will see you now. Are you suffering heart problems and looking for secure, cutting-edge cardiovascular diagnostics and care? Then there's only one choice. American Heart of Poland Clinics. Our network of interventional cardiology, angiology and cardiosurgery departments is renowned for its outstanding team of doctors and high quality of service. We offer a comprehensive treatment of cardiovascular diseases, starting from medical consultation through diagnosis and treatment to rehabilitation in the beautiful Beskidi Mountains.
Welcome back. We're in Bielska-Biala, a town in the south of Poland, to find out more about the latest advances in cardiology and to discover more about the procedures and the rehabilitation of patients. Yeah, in general, in Poland, we don't send patients immediately after surgery to, uh, to uh, their home. Uh, it, it's a mistake, obviously. Uh, this is the common problem with those patients, how to, to take care about them, for example, in the US. Uh, so we have a little bit di different system. So we send patient uh, to our rehab center. Uh, it is a nice spa center uh, where people can, uh, patient can recover after the, the major surgery uh, under the, the supervision of nurses, uh, uh, rehab, uh, rehabilitants and doctors. Uh, so if so anything ha um, happened, uh, we immediately help the patients without you know, some ex exaggeration of the situation which might happen at home. Uh, to take better care of the heart, they should uh, eat a little bit less, they should take care about their uh, hypertension, uh, they should care about their diabetes, cholesterol and physical activity. These are the most important things to remember to keep their heart in a good condition. We do uh, angiography, coronary angioplasty, coronary, uh, and uh, uh, last year we have started uh, vascular surgery, and we have a big building with uh, almost 1,000 beds for rehabilitation. After the heart attack or acute coronary syndrome, it is very important for the patient to get rehabilitation. Uh, it, uh, gives them, if it gives them uh, strength, it, it gives them power and it gives them uh, n positive thinking that they, come, that they can come back to normal life and normal activity. We are waiting for people from uh, abroad to come to us uh, because the quality of our uh, medical uh, staff is very high and the cost is uh, a little bit uh, lower than in Western Europe. Uh, this is the reason uh, for me the patients should uh, think about medical tourism. Usually patients after, after myocardial infarct or uh, major surgery, they get depressed. They think that they are very ill and uh, you know, uh, it will be difficult for them to return to normal life. So they need definitely psychological support. We need to convince them that the treatment went very well and just the patient need a little bit uh, rehabilitation then the patient can come back home and uh, return to normal life. So the psychological support is very important. We are the resort spa, that's the main thing. And we are in the lovely city, as you can see, Ustrein. And you have beautiful weather as well. And the whole year it's very popular place because during summer of course you can go outside and use the other stuff but in the winter time you have the ski slopes so besides the treatment here in the building as I mentioned before it's usual the dip is on the and the salt water you can use the other stuff here as well we perform various procedures it's a treatment rehabilitation approach which patients with heart or other types of illnesses undergo the clinic, in addition to its cardio intervention activity, namely cardiac and vascular surgery, also performs cardiac rehabilitation, which is the integral part of its scope of activity. We conduct consultations with a cardiologist using expanded diagnostics through treatment up to rehabilitation. I'm a medical doctor. I also am a director of Center for Cardiovascular Research and Development of American Heart of Poland. I'm doing my own clinical um, work every day, but also I'm um, responsible for the research in this company. The research uh, consists of preclinical and clinical work. The aim of this um, center is to develop new technologies which we can use and the clinical practice. We are trying to develop um, better, um, safer and more efficient uh, therapies which can be used for our patients. It's very important because having so many patients in our clinic, we want to improve the outcomes, yes? You want to be uh, treated in a safer way and a better way 
Uh, you don't want to be hospitalized, rehospitalized. You want to be cured um, in a relatively short time. You want to have a contact with, a, with your doctors. Everything uh, is um, made by the research. So we are trying to find what is the best method for the treatment, what is the uh, best device uh, for the patient. Um, so we are following uh, our patients, we are uh, collecting all the data um, and based on this we can find the answer for uh, what is the best treatment strategy. We are just a part of uh, you know, uh, world science. Uh, we're taking uh, a part uh, in many clinical trials which are international trials. So uh, people from Europe, people from the whole world, they uh, recognize as a good clinical centers. They want to do uh, the clinical trials with us. So since 2004, since we've opened our uh, research center, uh, we um, developed uh, of the first Polish uh, bare metal stand. Then after that, we introduced into clinical practice uh, first uh, drug eluting stand and this uh, device was the first device in the world which was covered with biodegradable polymer making this uh, device safer for, for patients because theoretically patients uh, who had uh, these stents implanted could uh, have uh, sh um, shorter double antiplated therapy um, make it safer in terms of bleeding complications so uh, this was uh, our biggest uh, achievement. Now we are working on many other drug eluting stent technologies, uh, balloon, drug coated balloon technologies. Uh, we are also involved in many therapies uh, related to hypertension treatment and, and structural heart diseases. We can offer our patients uh, the whole treatment. Uh, beginning from the outpatient department, uh, diagnostics, invasive procedures, open heart surgery and uh, vascular surgery to rehabilitation process. We have all the units in the group. Our contact with a cardiac patient is totally different when compared to patients suffering from other diseases. Patients with cardiac conditions should be treated both physically and mentally, namely make him feel safe when arriving here but also rehabilitate him in a physical sense and at the same time change his lifestyle to a more healthy one. It means reducing, changing the diet, reducing body mass, adding physical activity, reducing everyday stress. All these are very important factors which result in further coronary incidents. Our research program uh, um, is a very important part of our activity because we believe that uh, to maintain the advantage on the market, we, we have to develop new methods of the diagnosis and treatment of, uh, uh, of cardiovascular diseases. Um, uh, so we have two parts of this program. First is preclinical testing of new devices and the second one is introduction and testing the new devices uh, in our patients. Uh, we are of course follow all uh, ethics uh, uh, rules uh, related and good medical practice uh, related to this kind of, uh, um, of research. We cooperate with centres and, and uh, hospitals uh, in the UK, in the European Union, as well as in the US. So we are a part of the, the, the worldwide network. For, for running um, multinational, uh, multi center trials, clinical trials, but, but we also do a lot of work, uh, preclinical work, uh, a lot of research for uh, new startups from uh, Europe and, and uh, US. So the advantage of having such a possibility is to get the new technology as a first center. So it's an incredible, uh, incredible advantage and uh, when uh, the new de device or new methods in introduced to the market uh, as a new one, we have already experienced how to use it. We have to, to uh, uh, learn patients, uh, um, how, uh, teach patients how they should you know, prevent further progression of the disease. This is very important. Uh, many of them are smoking. 
cigarettes. So, so again, psychological support to give up smoking is extremely important for father prognosis, a good father prognosis. So we, we are always trying to convince people uh, to use this time to give up smoking. Your health is a vital ingredient for a varied and fulfilling experience of life. Prevention is most definitely better than cure, so maintain an active lifestyle, eat healthily, and speak to your doctor if you're worried about any potential symptoms. Heart disease can be hereditary, although not necessarily so. But with the latest advances in cardiology, it's possible now, more than ever before, to be able to carry on living your life the way you want to.